Last week, I was having a conversation with a colleague of mine called Jane. At one point, she looked at me and said, I really like how you often make a point by using a story. I find your stories relevant, interesting, and memorable. It's a lot better than all these other people who just show data and process charts. And I looked at Jane and said, thank you, but you know, you, you can do the same. It's not, it's not magic. Then she looked at me and said, but, but you, you don't understand. My life is arid. It's actually kind of boring. I don't really have any stories to share. If that sounds like you, watch this video. I will show you that your life is not boring and you have plenty of stories to share. So what's the problem? Most of us compare our lives to Hollywood movies, Netflix TV shows and social media influencers. And we realize quickly that our lives are not like that. But we all do have stories to share. Stories about the stuff that happens to us as we go through the week. I call these everyday stories. Now let me give you an example. A couple of weeks ago my wife asked me to order some Nike sneakers for our oldest daughter online. It's been a long week and I ended up doing it late Friday night just before going to bed. The next morning I realized I had ordered the wrong size. I thought, oh shit. I immediately went online, I checked Nike's website and I discovered that they have a chat function that is open between 9 a.m. and 10 p.m. 9 a.m. I was waiting. I was not even home. I was sitting at the local bus stop. I activated the chat and Lily magically appeared and said, how can I help you? And within a couple of minutes, Lily had helped me change the order, made sure that I got the right size and the shoes arrived a couple of days later. It was magic. So what's my point? The story about Lily is what I call an everyday story. We all have everyday stories. No, these stories will not be turned into a Hollywood movie or a Netflix TV show, but they count as long as your story has a point that is relevant for other people. My story about Nike is a solid example of what great customer service looks like online in 2022. Yes, I have other stories that shows what really appalling customer service looks like, but they will have to wait for another day. So if you're like Jane and you think your life is boring, here's what I suggest you do. Three things. Number one, Start paying attention. As you go through your daily life, pay more attention to what goes on around you, whether it's at home or at work, or when you engage with an external party, whether it's a shopping experience, travel experience, any of those engagements could be a story. Number two, write them down. I keep a list on my iPhone where I write down the title of each of my short stories, because if I don't write them down, I forget. Number three, Start sharing the stories. If you're not ready to use a story to make a point in the meeting with your big scary boss, you can start with your family or your friends. Start sharing stories as long as you remember that each story has to have a relevant point. That's it. In summary, start paying attention, make a list of your stories and start sharing them. Yes, you, you can be a storyteller too. I'll see you in the next one. Boom.